I know you guys all loved my rocket boat series from last year. So I decided to update the boat. This is the Mark II. Uh, then make a new boat name because it's basically the same boat with some changes. And if you want to see what I did to change it, you can check out that video. Oh, and I should mention we're using my homemade sugar rockets. So that'll just make everything a lot more interesting. We're going to drop this thing in the water. Hopefully the wind cooperates. It's been blowing kind of crazy here. Uh, but we're just going to put it in, even if there's waves. We've come a long ways in boat design, but I don't know if we've come a long ways in speed and distance. <laughs> Three, two, one, contact! Can we just make four rockets like that? <laughs> Yes, we had just made four very underpowered rockets because we had added baking soda, 15% by weight. The reason for this was because when I had been testing my sugar rockets, they had been blowing up and I wanted to decrease the burn rate. We didn't think we would get a good run with these, but then we did. Although these engines were still slightly underpowered, the boat actually performed flawlessly. It not only went straight across the lake, but we did not have any of the issues that we had last year, which included flying instead of floating. The one issue we did have was that the boat didn't actually get going fast enough, and it had quite a bit of wake, which would have been avoided if it was going faster. Go! <laughs> it's gonna go! Yes, it was a sad sight, but it was interesting looking at it and seeing how the engine tube pushed through the front of the boat, broke the wing, broke the whole boat apart before it fell apart. We had one more engine and I didn't want to waste it, so I strapped it to the front piece of the boat and my dad and I cautiously went out on the dock and launched it. We weren't expecting much. Well, that's how the rocket boat died. I did want to mention something with regards to safety. I'm sure I'm gonna to get tons of comments on that. We did not do this how we should have. So learn from our mistakes. Treat sugar rockets or any rockets with a lot of respect. Do not set them off anywhere near you. I am working on a video about sugar rockets and how to make them but obviously I have more to learn, so that may be a little while in coming. So if you guys wanna check out some of my future videos that aren't out yet, hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed, 
and the bell notification button. That way you get the updates when I do release a video. And I will catch you guys next time. That's it.